During the course of Hunter x Hunter, there were many memorable scenes littered throughout the 2011 series, and I'm sure many of you who have seen the series have your own personal favourite, from Gon, Kalapka and Leodio meeting for the first time, or when Gon battled Hisoka at Heaven's Arena, all iconic in their own right. But for me, the one that sticks out the most is when Gon recovers from his bad Nen and meets Leodio for the first time in a long time. So what makes this scene so special? Before we dive deep into the scene, we first need to be brought back up to speed with the events prior. So during the battle between Gon and Pito, Gon uses incredibly powerful Nen in order to defeat Pito. This causes Gon severe after effects on his body, leaving him in a critical situation. In order to save his life, Killua decides to seek help from his younger sister, Eluka, to exercise the bad Nen, while Iolio is in the midst of the chairman election. So why does this scene stand out to me the most? In order to answer that, I want to look at certain characters first, and then the actual scene. Let me first talk about the characters who are in and not in the scene, because every character should have a point and it is important to talk about the choice of a character in the scene and one that isn't and what it says about that character. A big component in the scene and a reason why it is memorable is the character of Leolio. A big blubbery mess when Gon is revealed is a stark change to the person we saw at the beginning of the series. At the beginning of Hunter x Hunter, Leorio is presented as arrogant and selfish. This is shown by his goal of attaining the Hunter license so he can become rich. But as the series continues, we learn that Leorio wants money because he couldn't afford to help out an old friend who needed medical help because the cost was too high. So he decides to enter the Hunter exam, get the license and learn to become a doctor. We get the idea that Leorio's goal is to become a doctor and help those who need it. But when his new friend needed it the most, the audio couldn't help. We hear later on that the audio tells Gon he is sorry for not being there during the fight against the ants, so we know that the audio feels deep regrets. This takes us back to the scene. The audio can't help Gon out by being the doctor, so he decides to go about it another way and getting the message out that Gon needs help. He does this by doing the most the audio thing there is by freaking out, punching Gon's father Jing. This drags him into the election but Leodio uses his opportunity to keep spreading the message about Gon. This is a stark contrast to the man who only thought of himself. This brings me to the idea of every character having meaning in the scene. Leodio is the one that Gon jumps to. Leodio is the one the audience sees the reaction to. And the reason for him being our eyes is because Leodio has never seen Gon at his lowest, especially during the Chimera Ant arc. Leodio has only seen the positive Gon, the Gon that never gives up, no matter what is in front of him. But the Gon he saw at the hospital is a Gon he's never seen, broken and hurt. His regret for not being there fuels his drive to help Gon no matter what. This action speaks a thousand words to the character of Leodio, who at first meeting was selfish and arrogant. But that reaction he has is pure and full of love. A reaction only someone in Leodio's shoes can have. Regret turned to pure happiness. It is important to remember characters are there for a purpose and this scene only works because it was the audio who reacts. Which brings me to a character who is not in this scene. I want to focus on Klupka's absence because it's a most fascinating one. When Gon enters the hall of the election debate, he is with an entourage, the people Gon has affected the most. You see the likes of Morel, Nov and Biscay. These people have been his teachers and friends through tough times and without them, Gon would not be the person he is. But Kalapika is not there. He ignores the calls from Leorio several times, and this isn't the first time he's done this. In the York Newark, he ignored the calls of Gon too. So what does that tell us about Kalapika? In his mission to retain every Kurta eyes, he has abandoned what he deems as unnecessary to him. His goal is to avenge his clan by taking back every last Kurta eye. To him, Gon is just someone he met on the way, an ally, but maybe not a friend. And I think his absence is significant because of what Gon has done for Kalapka. Gon sees Kalapka as a friend and will put himself in harm for him. But the testament to Gon is his decision he made with Kirua that stopped Kalapka killing Krolo. Back in the York New Arc, Kalapka captures Krolo and made a deal with the spider troop to do a swap. Krolo for the captured Gon and Kirua. But one of the demands was for Pakunoda to go with them. She was injured and Gon and Killua could have easily left, leaving her behind. 
playing into the hands of Klapka's bloodlust against Crollo. But Gon decides not to, because he doesn't want Klapka to kill. This is a friend helping a friend. Fast forward to the Chimera Ant arc, Gon vs Peter. Gon pushed so far to the edge, just like Klapka, but for Gon there was no one to save him, so he falls deep, nearly leaving him dead. Killua tried to reach Gon but was too late, and Leolia was sorry for not being there. With Killua helping Gon recover, and Leolia helped spread news to help aid Gon's recovery, Krabka was nowhere. The Chairman Election arc is one of the smallest arcs in the show, but plays a major role expanding on the lore of Chairman Netero and the Hunter Association, something that has not been hugely influential in the story since the Hunter exam, albeit slightly teased with the introduction of Nov, Morel, Knuckle and Shoot in the Chimera Ant arc. But the Hunter Association at this point of the story was still a mystery. However, the introduction of this arc shows us inside the Hunter Association and what was once thought of a respected association is shown to be completely filled with misfits who can't trust each other. The amnesty between the Zodiacs tells us greatly about the mentality hunters have. Even if the top hunters who have been trusted and handpicked by Chairman Netero find it difficult to trust each other and decide on a way to start the election, how does the hunters below them trust the organization? Their lack of friendship is a stark difference to what we have seen with Gon, Kirua, Krapka and Leorio. But is it that their friendship is the strange one? During the Hunter exam we see no other group form, no other alliance except for Gon's group and the twisted Hisoka and Illumi. The friendship between the four is a vital moment because each member has guided one another. Kirua takes Gon to Heaven's Arena where they ultimately meet Wing and learn about Nen. Gon and Krapka were pivotal for Leorio even passing the exam and Gon and Killer will prevent Klapka murdering Koro. They've always been there for each other, until they don't. But apart from Klapka, they redeem themselves. For example, Killua was influential in helping Gon exercise his bad Nen by saving Luka. But what makes the scene of Leorio most special is his non-ability and skills. He isn't a prodigy like Killua, nor is he powerful like Klapka. Leorio is just Leorio a bumbling buffoon that finds himself in not so ideal situations, be it he tries. During the Hunter election he finds himself in positions that forces him to be away from his friend Gon and what does he do? He takes the opportunity to get Gon's story out so the world can hear the problem and the world can figure a way to help Gon. Leolio truly knows he cannot help Gon himself, so he was willing to sacrifice his dream of becoming a doctor to be the chairman of the Hunter Association just so he can help Gon. Compare that to the Zodiacs themselves, the ones who wanted to run and win the election. They wouldn't give up their own selfish dreams, they wouldn't think about others and in the end they would have lost to Leolio. But most tragically compare Leolio to Klapka, who has his goal staring at him. He has the Kurta clan eyes but he cannot let go of his selfish burden of revenge which leads him to be oblivious to the idea of Gon's situation. His self-imposed burden of the whole clan makes him forget about the people that care for him now, friends that needed him more than the Kurta family he sadly lost. What makes this scene special is the meaning it has about friendship and the power that holds. Gon has made many allies during the time before his exposure to the Bad Nen and that has helped him get out of many sticky situations. But even though it was Killua who helped Gon the most, even though it was Morel whose calm thinking allowed Aluka the visibility needed for her to use her powers, even though it was Aluka using her powers, it was Leorio who fought the dirty battle that allowed Gon the support needed and ultimately Leorio is a friend that Gon and everyone around him should cherish most.